Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight. Tonight we were looking at uh, migrating from our tried and true MX 14.3 to the brand new MX 14.4 featuring the XFCE 4.12 desktop. Now I'm here at mxlinux.org and we have a convenient navigate migration document under the MX tabs written by the MX devs and it's going to tell us exactly what we need to do. Now the one thing, the very first thing is you got to update some stuff. Interesting note here, to get the uh, XFCE 4.12, it will come down through the usual upgrade method, the upgrade notifier. However, you have to make a slight change. Make sure that you select disk upgrade when you click on app notifier. What's that mean? Well, let's click on it and see. It's going to tell us all the packages that are there, and it's going to see. It's going to if by the default we're using app get upgrade right here, and some packages are going to be held back. But we can switch to app get disk upgrade, and now it's not going to hold back any packages. Now it's going to to uh, do its thing and install all the packages. So I'm going to click OK. You can also do this through Synaptic. You can hit some if you use Synaptic um, and you mark all upgrades and click apply. It's the same thing as it as as the disk upgrade option. So we're going to click OK. You can also do it from the command line, and it's going to do its thing. Do we want to continue? Yes. Now my upgrade here is going to be particularly long. There's uh, uh, because I haven't upgraded, I haven't kept this in, this particular MX testing installation as up to date as my normal everyday version. Uh, so it's going to take a minute. So I'm going to pause the video and when it's done downloading and installing packages we'll come back. Okay there our updates are complete. I'm going to press any key to close the updater and move on to step two in the migration document. Install with Synaptic or command line these, two, these three packages. A new icon theme the XFCE Power Manager plugin and a dictionary plugin. Now, the, the Power Manager plugin is particularly important because after we reboot into our new XFCE, the existing Power Manager icon is going to disappear from the notification area. The current version of the XFCE Power Manager does not have an icon in the notification bar. It will show notifications but it doesn't show an icon all the time. So the power panel plugin has some new functionality. It'd be nice to get that installed. So let's do that before we reboot and get to get our new our new XFCE running. We want the Fanzia Cupertino mini icons. We want the XFCE for dictionary plugin and the XFCE4 Power Manager plugins with an S, although I think there's actually only one plugin. Mark and apply to bring down those changes or new packages, I should say. This isn't going to take very long. Depending on your internet speed. Okay, that's done. We're done with Synaptic. And we'll come down on the... Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and reboot before we make the appearance changes. The appearance changes, I'm going to tell you, are completely uh, optional. Um, they do not matter um, to functionality, only to appearance. However, 4.12, XFCE 4.12 did change their default window manager theme and uh, so we made uh, the, the MX team made some tweaks to the appearance of the um, of XV. So I'm going to log out and log back in. And hopefully we have our new XFCE running. I think we do. Okay. So we're back here. We've got, uh, we want to go to the appearance. And we are running the new 
the new stuff, you'll see the icon theme uh, uh, previews or the uh, color theme previews. We're going to go to icons and select the new icon theme and you see our icons changed immediately. It's a modern icon theme. And we'll go down to style and ch ch zoo hit woo, zoo get woo, I guess, the default theme. And if you just want to follow along, we'll go ahead and change the default theme. The X's have changed. It's hard to see here, but we're going to change to albatross. Okay, now we have to change the QT style. So we're going to go open up Thunar, File Manager in the menu. We're going to use Control H to bring up the hidden files and go to .config .trolltech, who owns the QT development platform. And we're going to come down here and cut and paste in these two lines, the QT down to GTK+. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, save the file. This will fix an update um, to the QT based apps in MX, which is basically all the MX tools, uh, so that they appear correctly. Otherwise, their theming was broken with the up with the XFCE upgrade. Now we're going to add the new Power Panel plugin by default. It is installed on the new ISO for 14.4, but we'll go ahead and add it here since we're doing a migration. And we'll come down to Power Manager Plugin, Add, and we're going to move it up here above the logout icon, which is where it appears by default. Again, personal preference, um, you know what I'm saying, but you do get the nice new dialogues and everything for Power Manager. And if you've got a monitor that supports uh, that supports it, you can actually control the display brightness from here. Most laptop monitors and a lot of LCDs are going to have that support. There's also two custom actions they want us to uh, to add to Thunar to bring us up to the same level as the others, and it's for checking MD5 uh, sums for downloaded ISOs. The first method um, is to open up Thunar and edit the actions by hand to match this page. This seems like a lot of of typing to me, so I'm going to do something slightly different. You feel free to do it this way if that's your comfortable. You can you add the actions right here under configure custom actions. You just click the plus to add a new action and make it match the screens that they're showing. I'm going to do something slightly different since we already have dot config open. I'll go into Thunar and open up uca.xml. I'm going to navigate down to the bottom of the of the file, and you want to be in between. You want to be just in between the last slash action and slash actions, with an S at the bottom. And the MX guys have provided us with a convenient file to paste into this area. All you do is cut and paste it. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Save the file. Again, this file is in the that file that I just used is in the migration document. And we're going to restart through NAR, and we should see two new custom actions in the menu. And there they are: compute MD5 sum and check the data integrity, which compares a calculated MD5 sum on an ISO file to the published MD5 sum, so you can make sure you don't have a corrupted file. Okay, that's it for Thunar enhancements. And the very last thing, again, it's personal preference, replacing the logout icon. Um, they have us navigating, doing a right click on, on the logout icon on the panel, clicking properties, and choosing a new, a new icon. This little pencil here is the edit item, and you can click on the icon, navigate to a new icon. Uh, it's easier just to go ahead and remove the thing on your whisker menu start typing logout do a right click on logout say add to panel and then move it to where you want it to be right click and move I think I moved it to the wrong spot there we go there's our new logout icon and that's it all the changes are here your uh, 4.3 
14.3 I uh, installation will now look just like a 14.4 with all the same enhancements, new files, and bug fixes. For tips, tricks, and how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at, at, forum, at forum.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.